since I've been in America, a lot of people have asked me if I'm having a hard time adjusting to living in the country. And the truth is, yes, some things are harder to understand than others. For instance, uh, why do you let the baby lions <laughs> in a sandbox in your bathrooms? <laughs> and... And why did you let that giant mouse rule a magical kingdom within your borders? <laughs> no, no, not that. I was talking about the other one. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, there are things that do remind me of home. For instance, having a black president. <laughs> and the difficulty of talking about race relations, especially when the police are involved. The only people in our society that don't believe all lives matter are generally liberals. We don't right. need to say all lives matter because white, white citizens because, aren't dying at the hands of police. Why has the Black Lives Matter movement not been classified yet as a hate group? And when people say all lives matter, it's actually a violent statement. I've seen far more racism against the cops. It's a divisive issue. It's almost as if there's no common ground. Oh, it really does seem like there's no common ground. It's almost as if this whole issue is just black and... Oh. <laughs> I get it. It's a cookie. <laughs> the problem is a cookie. The question is, how can we even attempt to solve this problem in this heated environment? To find out, Jordan Klepper and Roy Wood Jr. filed this report. Over the past year, cops have faced increasing scrutiny based on their actions against minorities. To get to the bottom of this, The Daily Show sent not one, but two correspondents to go deep. Super deep. So we decided to sit down with some cops to see why they're Racist. under attack. Tonight on. There's gonna be a graphic right here. No graphic. No graphic? Oh, let's go inside. After all the shootings of unarmed minorities throughout the country, the nation is now split into two camps. Either the cops are racist or they're not racist. But only one side can be right. So we sat down with former NYPD detective and Fox News contributor Bo Deedle to get the definitive answer. It's a tough question to ask, Bo, but I gotta ask it. Go ahead. Are police racist? No. It's good enough for me. I'm satisfied. <laughs> We're good here. I'm unbelievable. Are you serious? Yep. You're not gonna ask him any more questions? He said they're not racist. NYPD he was whooping ass. ass. Bo, Bo, look, Bo, I'm he sorry, Bo. He knows I'm about sorry. bias. I'm sorry. Bo, he's new. All cops are not racist. Everyone's starting to believe, like you are, that there is a overwhelming conspiracy with all the cops you go, ooh, let's go get a black guy and beat him to death. That's not what's going on there. Of course a cop's going to say police aren't racist, but what about an expert who runs a center which studies the police, Dr. Phil Goff? Okay, so let's start with the facts. All cops are racist. No, all cops are not racist. Told you. All cops are awesome. No, all cops are not awesome. Is there a nuance to this? There is nuance to this. Police, like everybody else, hold implicit biases. Implicit bias is the shorthand that we take for the automatic association between people and stereotypes that we have about those people. And we've done that with black and crime a whole heck of a lot. Almost all people hold implicit biases. I don't hold any biases. I don't hold any biases. I look at him, I see a cool ass white dude. Yeah. I look at Look at him, shirt tucked in, look like a weatherman. You're gonna trust me. I trust this guy, right? He's got southern charm. He's a black dude without earrings. Yeah, I like that dude. <laughs> if it's true that neither of you have biases, then you are very rare individuals. Well, I think that's true. I'm amazing. Not surprisingly, there's a program that Nerdy Suge Knight developed which trains police officers to de-link bias from their decision-making. We've been very involved in training officers to limit the influence of their biases on their behaviors. So a police chief comes to you and says, help, we just shot a black kid. They Please use help us. So we quit doing that. Police chiefs usually don't call us and say help. But some police departments have sought out these techniques like this Deadly Force simulator, which shows a series of real-life situations that test your ability to not act on assumptions of race. Hey, hey, what, what, what are you doing? What? Bias ass, that's empire. <laughs> Bias training consists of three key components, scenario-based training, written testing, and talking it out. To see it in action, we headed to the Madison, Wisconsin Police Department, one of the few in the country that has an extensive anti-bias program. And there's a compelling reason why. 
Tonight, there are protests over another deadly police shooting of an unarmed man after complaints of a confrontation. This one last night in Madison, Wisconsin. So we sat down with the Madison chief of police, Mike Koval, to ask one little question. Are all police biased? Yes, the police have biases. Got him. <laughs> Got him? You said it. Who are you calling? Black people. You just said You're calling black people? Yes. Let me get that number. Yeah, I'm in Wisconsin. White dude just said it. Bias, all of them. Uh-huh. Tell black Twitter. Black Twitter? You don't know about black Twitter? No. Yeah, black Twitter. Hello, black Twitter. Hello? You should get on black Twitter. It's hilarious. I don't know what they're talking about half the time, but it is funny. So he admitted they're biased, and I have to say, they seem like pretty nice guys. There you go. Hey, That's all right. I'm feeling it. Looks, looks good. Looks good. Looking good. Yeah, this yeah. is nice. nice, nice. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? Right, my man. Uh, hands up, my <laughs> And then the scenario-based training began. Of course, a couple of unbiased reporters like us would ace this. All right, role players, you want to get in position? All right, Jordan, you can go ahead and observe. We have the, the rap star over here who clearly uh, hit this pregnant woman. I'd rush these two guys and get back to business. He's not a rap star. He doesn't have a gold chain. All right. Role players, can you share with them what happened here? Oh, what an awesome game! Amazing! Oh, oh my God, are you okay? 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 What's going on? CPR, CPR. Are you okay? Roll over. Why is the black guy trying to kill the lady who's having a heart attack? Okay, okay, let's try this one more time. This scenario yeah. is called the domestic disturbance. You're gonna observe the scene, you're gonna maybe verbally control the people involved. This guy's getting too old for this. Like, like Lethal Weapon? You know, have you seen Lethal Weapon? Like Bad Boys? I don't know. I've seen Bad Boys. Yeah, I bet. Let's do this! Right. Your first Jordan. Action. <laughs> Is everything okay in here? Excuse me, get away from the woman! Get away from the woman! Get down! Get down on the ground! Get down on the ground! Get down on the ground! Ma'am, it's Stop. gonna be all right. Stop. And scene, that was fun. That was fun, huh? Yeah, you were great and scary. Try it, you're gonna love it. I'm sorry about him, Officer Prado. All right, action. So sorry. I'm sorry. So sorry. <laughs> this is never gonna happen. Stop crying. <laughs> Stop crying. What happened? She needs help. What happened? Why are you crying? Don't yell at her. Officer, what are you doing? I'm getting too old for this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 472, we gonna need a white female officer to come handle this. <laughs> knock, knock. Hello, Officer Wood. As a white female officer, I'll take care of this. Are you okay? Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get away! Get away! You know what? Okay. So maybe we do have our own biases, and this training can go a long way to help officers make bias free decisions on the street. This is great. Oh, but there's just one little problem. You see, the shooting of Tony Robinson was six months ago. The Madison PD started their bias training six years ago! What the hell, Koval? What do you have to say for yourself? The key is that we've got to acknowledge that this is a problem that is recurring with all too great a frequency, because if no one's talking because we're all hunkered and bunkered down, there's no possible way we can move the needle forward. So I think if nothing else, show affirmative steps that you're doing something, damn it, that's going to make the training less likely to end in those outcomes. Okay, fine, but talk is cheap. Can bias training really change police behavior? How can we as a public buy into the realism that police bias training could work when you have so many incidents like Tony Robinson? Freddie Gray. Walter Scott. Sandra Bland. Eric Garner. S somebody who gets shot next month. Implicit bias training is a good idea, but it's not sufficient. You don't want to just do a training. You always want to do trainings with policy changes, with community engagement. And even that, there's still going to be these incidents, because we live in a world where policing is frequently the symptom, not the cause of the inequality. It can't be that police are on one side and communities on the other. The police are the public, and the public are the police. Just like in Bad Boys. Yeah. You seen Bad Boys? It's not at all like Bad Boys. It's a little bit like Bad Boys. It's not at all like Bad Boys. I mean, like... Have you even seen Bad Boys? I have seen Bad Boys. So it's, so it's kind of like that. It's not at all like Bad Boys. Bad Boys, Bad Boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when we come for you? With an open mind and an awareness of our biases and cultural differences. Be nice to people. 
when we come for you. Why the hell am I in the back seat? Thank you.